so today got something cool. Kirata DC. So this is gonna be my first time fishing with it. Yet to fish with it. I picked it up yesterday, found them at Green Top in Virginia. They have left-handed ones. So picked it up. This is an 8.5 to 1. That's all they had. I wanted a 7 or an 8, so happy with that. Super fast. This rod's, you know, normally a rod I use for uh, for throwing a worm or a jig or something. It definitely, definitely, definitely casts further than the Corrado K. And I have it on three right now. From what I understand, one is like minimal, two is braid and mono, and then three is your fluorocarbon setting, and then four is just your like super break setting. So I'm gonna cast it a few times on one. Let's see, from what I understand, it's still backlash, so you kind of got to keep pressure on it. Definitely casts far as I'll get it. This thing's insane. This thing casts a mile on one. It's definitely um, a little bit harder to dial in on one. I suppose the water is 87 degrees. I just now looked down and saw that. It's definitely harder to dial in on one. It doesn't, uh, can still backlash if you're not careful with it. So you just have to have your cast control a little bit tighter. I know in the book it says, like, when you adjust the cast control, you gotta be careful with it because, uh, um, if you go too tight, it basically won't, the DC brake won't work properly. So it's a, uh, Definitely good on one. Let's see what two's like. I know two is, they say, is the braid and mono setting, but oh my god, it casts a mile still. I know you can't really see where I'm casting, but what I'm going to do is, is fight. No. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a full on review this reel after I've fished it for maybe a month or a few weeks just depending on how much I fish it. Um, I'm going to do a full on review showing you guys all the specs and uh, you know talking about it in depth about how I like it and everything. So far I will tell you I love it. Definitely for the casting the Karate K and this is the same rod same setup I used to throw the Corrado K with, um, which I'm right now, I'm throwing a little Texas rig trick worm with an eighth ounce tungsten weight. So that's not something new. That's what I used to throw on the K. And it, it'll cast far, but in wind or anything, it will backlash pretty easily because it's such a light bait. But throwing it now, it's, uh, it's definitely whole different experience throwing it with a DC reel. It still has the uh, micro module gearing like the K, which is very like, smooth as all get out. You don't feel the teeth of the gears like you do with some reels. Hopefully you can hear me. I know it's windy, but uh, but it's this this reel is definitely gonna be. I don't, I don't like using the word game changer because I can just throw around and fishing all the time, but it's, uh, it's a game changer, <laughs> to say the least. Like I said, hopefully you guys can hear me, it's windy, but we're going to go fish this, try and get a bite or two, and see what happens. could not catch a fish with the new Corrado DC. I'm going to fish for about an hour or more, but I wanted to go ahead and do the outro, so if I do catch one, being after the outro, I'm actually going to go throw a topwater around. 
to uh, see if I can get a bite on a frog. But overall, first impressions of this reel, it is insanely good. Um, is that a bite? Yeah. Um, it's insanely good. It casts a mile with no effort. And that's on two. Um, if you put it on one, if you put it on one, it can backlash. You do have to control it a little bit. But if you put it on one it and you control it right, it freaking soars. It's awesome. Uh, love the look of it. Like I said, it's a bit heavier than the Karate K, but it's still a pretty awesome reel. So I'm going to be doing a full-on review of it in a couple weeks to a month probably of uh, how I like it and everything I think about it. And there'll be more of like full-on complete specs in that video. This video is just kind of me taking it out for the first time fishing with it. But that video is going to have full on, you know, specs and details and stuff about the reel. And if it's worth the $250 price tag so far, fishing with it, I think it is. It's epic. I'm enjoying it a lot. So, uh, hopefully, I can catch some fish on it here soon for you guys. Um, got a tournament tomorrow, so that'll probably be the next video on the channel. Hopefully, I can catch some fish tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go throw a topwater around. If I catch a fish, it'll be in after the outro. If I don't, then that's it for the video. Sorry, I couldn't catch any fish, but uh, hopefully, I give you guys kind of a good idea of what the uh, Curado DC is capable of and what it's like. And um, if you're curious if you should pick one up for yourself, I uh, highly recommend it. They're hard to find right now, so if you find them, especially if you find them in left handed, take advantage of it because you might not get one for a while. I want to hopefully get another one next year or whenever I can find them again. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be, and just stay tuned for the full review of this reel. See ya.